Many of you have asked about the software we've been using to create these designs that you've seen lately on the channel. Here's a simple plan view that we have of an install project coming up here in a few weeks where we have our rack elevations. So these are the pieces of equipment that go in all the equipment racks. We've got call outs for power. We have everything labeled and color coded to our liking. We even have some floor pocket designs laid out right here. When you look at the bigger picture of the floor plan, you see our wiring schematic of cables going from equipment racks to various pieces of equipment throughout the room. Whether that equipment are HDMI to SDI converters or network switches or cameras, it is all labeled in this drawing. The software we are using here is called Whimsical. Whimsical is a tool that is actually developed for software developers for creating diagrams like wireframes when they're trying to simulate visually what their app is gonna look like. It's also a great app for building flow charts. I really like to use Whimsical for mind maps when I'm meeting with the church front team and we are trying to figure out how to operate better, how to build out our systems. I like to put all that into a design in Whimsical. So it's a very flexible app. It even has an AI feature built into it like everything these days. Pricing is pretty reasonable. It looks like you can use it for free. I think we just pay for the pro membership. So 10 bucks a month per editor. And then it gives us more flexibility to create documents and share them with other people like our clients. Why do we spend time and resources on drawing out AVL plans? Well, there's a few reasons. If you're an AVL integrator like us, we need to be able to show the client the solution we are proposing for their new system. It's one thing Thing to just have a quote or invoice document with a bunch of equipment on it and light items for equipment, materials, maybe labors in there as well. But if it's not associated with a specific design or solution, it, honestly, those quotes don't really mean much. So for us, the design is a very important part of communicating the product or solution that the client is purchasing from us. Having a good drawing of your system is a great way to take inventory of what you have. A lot of churches aren't even aware of all the equipment that they have in their system. So if you were to go out and plot out all the equipment across your system and then even draw in these wire diagrams, you're just gonna be able to have a much better picture of what you currently have. What are the pieces of equipment you might wanna upgrade in the near future? Or what are the pieces of equipment that are really holding you back? Accurate drawings are also important to know that you're not missing anything in your design when you're doing a new install or upgrade. Uh, you have to take into account even the little things, right? So we have these callouts here for HDMI, SDMI converters for our multi-views. We even have callouts for our remote power control switches for our mixing console and then our power sequencing switch. You wanna make sure you include all those details so then you're not you know, halfway through a project and you realize, oh man, I forgot those converters or we forgot an extra RPC here. The design and documentation process is like seeing into the future and you want to have a very clear picture of what that future is gonna look like when the new system is installed. So this is a big part of what we do as a business here at Churchfront and we're constantly improving these processes and the way that we do our drawings and designs. But Whimsical has really served us well going from those small box sale orders where maybe a client is having us install just a mixing console and stage box to a full on AVL system where we have a new PA system and we have two equipment racks that are getting specced out with gear and then we have cables and wiring running everywhere around the room. But I will say as a company, Churchfront is kind of growing out of whimsical. We've actually started to use Vectorworks. Vectorworks is an industry standard CAD software. It's very popular, especially in the architecture world and people who have to do very detailed drawings for construction purposes. And Vectorworks has some really powerful entertainment and AV features included in it. I'll probably make videos showing some Vectorworks models that we've created in the future, but it is really the most capable drawing software out there. The downside of it being so powerful and capable is it has a steep learning curve. Uh, there are multiple days worth of training content at Vectorworks just to learn the basics to start producing some relatively simple drawings. So it's got a steep learning curve and then it's expensive. Because this is a industry standard, professional grade software, you're gonna pay a lot for it. It's about, I think $180 per year per user for the type of license we need that has the Connect CAD AV features built into it. So Vectorworks is by no means a budget solution. But I do think for the majority of you out there watching this where you're like, hey, I'm a volunteer at my church or a staff member. I just wanna have better documentation of our current setup and create an accurate diagram of that. 
I think Whimsical is a pretty great solution, especially because it's free, and I'm pretty sure most of the free features will cover what you need to create some basic drawings. We do have this template document in Whimsical where we basically have some pre-labeled equipment and rack layouts so that we can save a lot of time as we're drawing these designs for our new clients. So in here, you can see we got a bunch of Allen and Heath gear, Waves gear, power sequencing, network gear, all the purple is our video gear. And then we've got some you know, basic like rack shelves and blanks. Down here, we have some layout templates for stage pockets. And then even over here, we have some templates for our P16 distribution, and we even use images when appropriate for some of the pieces of gear. So this is some pretty basic, scrappy, AVL drawing systems that we have here. And I expect this to evolve quite a bit as we keep taking on more projects at Churchfront. We've got a lot coming down the pipeline and we're really trying to improve these drawing and documentation processes. But again, I think this is great for a lot of you watching this video if you just want some better documentation. So in this rack here, you can see a good visualization of our typical rack build. So you've got all the audio equipment that's in green. We've got the gray uh, equipment. That's just kind of the rack shelves and blanks. Over here, blue is our network equipment or computers. And then the purple is our video related equipment. And then, uh, yeah, a bunch of blanks down here. And then yellow indicates something to do with power. So we've got a battery backup. We've got power strips. We've got remote power control units that are gonna be triggered by a power sequencer. But what's also cool is you can use the connector feature over here to draw lines to represent your cable schematic. So if I zoom in here, you'll see we've got a subwoofer right here, and then we can select the connector. It actually has a text box built into it that can slide around the connector line, and then we can change the text to the appropriate label. And then for our cable schedule documentation, we've been using Notion. Notion Notion is sort of like a spreadsheet, but on steroids, it's a much better UI. You can edit these databases however you would like. So you can see here we have our identifier for our cables over here that will usually match the connector line within Whimsical. Then we have notes and more details about that specific cable. We have the signal type, the cable type that we're using. Um, even we can get down into details like, has it been pulled yet? Has it been terminated? Has it been tested? Um, so even when we're on site, we can keep track of these things during an install. There is other software solutions out there for drawing for AVL. And we'll probably explore more of these as we have time to. Dtools is a very popular one. I think a lot of large integrators use DTools. Again, a very expensive application to get into. Uh, X10 AV, I think their pricing is a bit more accessible. Yeah, it's a bit more reasonable pricing model to that. And I think they're using more cloud functionality built into it. So it's probably more convenient to use. There's another one I saw called Simple Wires. I have not really spent any time actually trying this one out. So again, I just wanted to mention it because it looked interesting. So there are other interesting tools out there, but here at Churchfront, we are really going to stick with using Whimsical for our smaller to medium size installs, along with uh, databases and Notion for organizing cable schedules and such. But as we're getting into larger projects, which are happening quite rapidly here, we're gonna start using Vectorworks so we can actually have more accurate 3D model rendering. We can also utilize a lot of the, just the additional capability that Vectorworks has with the ConnectCAD plugin. What's cool about Vectorworks is you can actually draw out 3D cable pathways and you can make a uh, cable schematic and then it's gonna automatically generate a cable schedule for you. So it can do a lot, but again, a very steep learning curve. I look forward to allocating more time to diving into it myself and our designer on our team is already doing that. So I think within a few months, we'll hopefully have some cool models in Vectorworks to show you guys. Last thing I'll mention, I'm sure you guys will ask about this, is the floor plan document. So sometimes floor plans are provided to us by the church that we work with, especially if they're doing like a new build or new construction, an architect has those plans on hand. If it's a remodel, we actually create the floor plans ourselves. We always capture a Matterport 360 uh, capture of a new space that we're working in, and then Matterport quickly automates the process of generating a simple floor plan 
PDF. I hope you learned a thing or two about the importance of documenting your designs or even just taking inventory of your system and using free software like Whimsical. Let me know what other questions you have down below. Also, let me know what other drawing tools are out there that you would recommend and you've been using for your worship and production ministry. If you would like to work with Churchfront on your next church AVL project, just go to churchfront.com, reach out to us there. If you'd like to join our Churchfront crew waitlist, I'll put a link down below as well. It's a great way for you to learn all these AVL skills by actually joining us on site for installs that are happening near you. So join that wait list and we'll let you know when we have an install coming up that we're needing extra hands for. And it's going to be a paid gig. So just keep an eye on that. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that like button, share it with your friends, and I'll see you next time.